Hello, I'm Kim Sauer at Productronica 2015, and I'm joined today by Tom Forsyth from Kaizen. Tom, it's great to see you. Great to see you. Um, in beautiful, sunny Munich. Best ever. Where's the snow? Where's the cold? You know, I'll take the sunshine any day. <laughs> We're stuck inside. We are, in the um, cave. With um, lots of great products on show, and first of all, congratulations on an award that you won, an innovation award. So Thank tell you us very a little much. bit about that. We won an award for a new product, Aquinox 40, 4708. It's a neutral product that's designed to, to meet the needs of people that uh, have uh, specific environmental concerns and, and needs where there's a good match. You know, they, these are green products, very core to our approach of where we try to bring science and care together. This is a case of we're always trying to move, improve the performance of products as well as expand their green uh, nature, whether it's because of environmental rules, worker safety rules, anything. Even small improvements are positive. And so we're always trying to advance that curve, and that's what 4708 is all about. Mm -hmm. So the, the green aspect obviously is directed by some, some legal aspects, some country laws, and there's a variety of that. And, and often, often that's the case, but not so much here. This is one where uh, most of the aqueous products tend to be a bit alkaline. The pH is a bit elevated. Okay. Pretty mild yeah. in, in general, but a bit yeah. elevated. And obviously the, the closer things are to neutral, the, the, uh, the less risk of impact on, on some compatibility issues or the less risk of impact on, uh, on, on a worker safety thing. Now, the facts are that most of those alkaline products have been designed to be super safe for the materials of construction and whatnot, but there's always hypersensitive areas or people that have hypersensitivities for good reasons, hmm. and so it's a good match to meet their needs. So I was going to ask, how, how important is that human attitude towards the environment with the products? They well, use, well so of course, the way the products are used, whether it's you know the 4708 or even the stencil things we'll talk about in a second, uh, mostly they're, they're contained in devices and, and they, they really don't mm -hmm. get around the folks so much. You know, more of the maintenance people put them in and out, that kind of thing. But even though that's, that's rather limited, you know, we worry about that. We're always mm -hmm. concerned about that and, and so we want to try to make things as, as benign and as, uh, as, as easy to use as possible from mm -hmm. that perspective. And, and that's, that's a good segue to the stencil side. You know, something we've been working on for a couple of years where, uh, you know, stencil cleanings, of course, got much more important in the days of fi uh, fine pitch. You know, fine pitch used to be hard, you know, and now we're into, you know, 01s, 005s and things that, you know, you know, remarkable arrays, very small apertures. Well, those stencils, you know, the task of cleaning them is, is a bit different than it was 20 years ago. Sure. Um, and the products until the last two or three years haven't changed at all mm -hmm. from us or anybody else. We, we'd sort of been uh, hunting other things. And we, we realized that and reached out to our customer base around the world and, and really solicited their uh, views on, on what performance they'd like to see uh, you know, in these sorts of products and put that whole line out and together for both the aqueous systems, the solvent systems, underscreen materials, uh, and it's, it's going very, very well. We're really excited about it. It's safer products in some cases, uh, like for example, on the on-screen or on-printer, underscreen wipe, quite commonly used in the industry. Uh, isopropyl alcohol, very common material. It's very inexpensive. It's really good at cleaning rosin solder paste. Rosin solder paste hasn't been commonly used mostly for 20 years. Mm. Not nearly as good at cleaning the no cleans. Mm. Gee, newer products that aren't flammable, that are good at cleaning those things, really help customers process it. Mm. Uh, and for the off-screen stuff, you know, that's just a bit more robust cleaning. Historically, a lot of very high pH materials made the frames dark and perhaps had some attack on, on adhesive sometimes. All the newer products, they run at lower temperatures. They don't have that attack on the aluminum. It makes for a more robust process. That helps the workers as well. If I'm cleaning a stencil, a very high pH thing could be irritating to the skin. These are more, more benign products, you know, really less, that maybe not eliminate that, but dramatically lessen the, uh, the, the risk for that. So just that all around, you know, again, where the science and care converge is, is sort of our motto. And we're looking out for performance. You know, that's part of the science is always trying to advance the performance. But it, performance, you know, is also brings in that care element that, that's helping our customers succeed, but also helping them be safer and safer for the environment and all those other elements. So that's a key, you know, how it all sort of ties together. Yeah. So we're always, you know, there'll be another new product six or 12 months away. Once again, perhaps not a, you know, maybe earth shattering, maybe not. We'll see how the fellows in the lab do. Uh, although, actually, they're mostly women at Kaizen, but um, it's see how the team works out, getting that done and, and moving that along, and, and 
as we continue to just try to do a better job for our customers. Well, like you said, it's an evolution. That's right. So it does, it's not always a revolution That's at a right. time. And you, you touched upon your approach to really work collaboratively with your customers to Absolutely. find out their needs. So I'm guessing that's your strategy, that's in, in Kaizen's DNA to take that forward. Absolutely, we're, we're a very high touch organization. You know, we, we, uh, we, we like to know what our customers are doing so we can help them. Cleaning tends to be, for most customers, a bit of a specialty that's often kind of off in the corner. It, it's very important because they, their highest value products often are the ones that get clean, mm -hmm. but it's not a process that they often know the most about. Sure. Uh, so we try to be very engaged to, to help them with that, to make sure those high value products turn out the right way. And, and we do try to ask and say, gee, how can we do a better job? What, what would you prefer to see? Can't yeah. promise you can deliver it tomorrow because as, as our lab people uh, wisely say, you cannot schedule innovation. Uh, but you can sure chip away at it. Yeah. And, uh, and that's a key part of it, and, and our customers are the biggest help for us in, in knowing where to go. Excellent. Well, Tom, great talking to you again. Good to see you. And good to see you again, Apex, probably, uh, coming up. Probably Apex, yeah. absolutely. So, so great. Have a great holiday season. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.